Hello, Mumtaz. Hello, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening. So nice to see you. So yeah, let I'm me so happy start about with, it. As you have become a freedom finisher, under my yes. guidance, I thought I will take an interview with you to know sure, how, sure, you have, how you have been able to crack the code and become a freedom finisher and all your yeah. journey. Let me yeah. introduce Mumtaz to the viewers. She was selected as one of the top 500 super speakers. So you, what you see in front of you is a person who has been selected from lakhs and millions of people attending the super speaker competition. Welcome, Mumtaz. Welcome. Welcome. On by you. Welcome thank on you. Screen. Thank you, ma'am. I'm thank sure you. people would want to hear and be inspired with your journey. Can you share me a few details about your journey and how you became a part of Internet Lifestyle Hub? Okay, ma'am. It was, uh, what do you say, a process that even I was not aware of. Like I was working as an English teacher uh, for more than 13 years in my own children's school. But because of my personal responsibilities, I had to quit the job. So I was confined to the four walls of my home. Then COVID came, so I just didn't know what to do. So I was a person who always wanted to be active. So I went online. I started doing certain courses, like I did TEFL. Then after that, IELTS trainers training. Uh, then uh, I did public speaking course. Then it was then that I happened to come across Success Gyan Super Speaker Contest. So when I went to their site, I came into contact with Surain and all that. And when I learned about their mission and vision, I was really impressed. So I went on exploring. I was participating in the contest. I was coming in different levels. So I was uh, I got the chance to get in contact with uh, Siddharth and all the members. So I found it is another level, that community. So I wanted to become, so uh, I wanted to do something because I was confined to my home, uh, I wanted to become a coach. Teaching was always my passion. So the way Siddharth did it, I thought I would join in his community and my intuition was really right because I chose the right platform with, uh, what do you say, awesome men mentors and the way he implemented, like uh, putting us in groups and uh, giving us facilitators like you, Geeta, ma'am. It is because of uh, your help and the team members, all that enabled me to become a freedom finisher, even without my knowledge. Oh, <laughs> That's so, it. That's my thing. Yeah. So probably your goal of coming to join this uh, hackathon was... Um, becoming a freedom finisher. So I want to yes. ask you, is that your first hackathon? Was this your first hackathon? Yes. First have hackathon. you attended any hackathons before? No, first time. This first is the first hackathon time. And you became yeah. a freedom finisher in the first hackathon. Yes. Which yes, only... To do. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, ma'am. So I didn't know that only when I attended yesterday's meeting, I happened to know that there were people who were there in the more than three years. And I wondered how I was able to become the freedom finisher within four months. I was not even much, uh, what do you say, digitally aware, many things I didn't know. So it was with your help and uh, my team members, they were so helpful. And as a team, you all made me <laughs> that I was able to, and I was very much, uh, what do you say, into it. So whenever I, uh, what do you say, I lacked confidence, you would just push me saying, you can do it, take action, you know, procrastination like that. So with your leadership and my team members, strong support, I was able to make it. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's good to know. So I think what you are mentioning is that you were not very confident of the technology that we are, but probably that was yes, what, yes. what other yeah. beliefs or uh, constraints you had when you joined. And uh, did you think you will become a freedom finisher when you joined? And uh, do yeah, you have a thought? Actually, I didn't know what this hackathon was and the way uh, Asithath was implementing. So I just would call my team members. I would call you. Then uh, step by step, by being involved into it, I started understanding what it was, these 10 missions and how to do the things, recording and all that. So by your leadership and my team members' support, I just got a clarity how to do it. So now 
I, I'm just, uh, what do you say, in cloud nine. I've become a freedom <laughs> finisher. I didn't know how. So if I can do it, I think anyone can do it because I was not at all confident about that. So what is that mind shift change that you underwent during the journey that you had? What was yeah. that mind shift? Mind shift? Yeah. I was not at all sure that I could do it because digitally I was uh, not that good. Of course, many things we know, the day-to-day -day things, but what is related to this uh, mission and all these different tools and all, it was new to me. So it is with your help, my team members' help that I was able to uh, say, actually, you know, Abish, he was just taking me step by step uh, all through and I remember was, when oh, I told you about the Google yeah. sheet you said I don't know yeah. about it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. from that yeah. level today you have reached a level and you have done it yourself could be there yes. you no know, but yeah and doing you used to call well. each of us yes each yes. of us used to call and you oh I could not help but move forward <laughs> yeah now my next question is what is it that yeah, led yeah. you to achieve become a freedom finisher despite the fact that you are lacking in confidence you are lacking in the technological skills that we told you about there were more yeah. people who were technologically in inclined but they did not become you became there is something which has led you to become a freedom finisher so what was that can you share a little I bit think... probably from your mind perspective that nobody knows about yeah can you share? actually it's my passion I'm very passionate about teaching and I was, uh, uh, when I was among my students, it was a different world. So suddenly I had to stop everything when I was confined to my home, I didn't know what to do. So once again, I wanted to be in that space with my students and all uh, the things that I could sh share that I can serve people. I want, I have some bigger purpose. I want to serve in a different way. So I want to be a coach where I can serve uh, millions of people. So one thing that I have noticed, Mukdas, is that you completed all the tasks. Otherwise, you will not become a freedom teacher. What is yeah. it that made you so consistent and attempt all the tasks? Uh, what do you say? Uh, encouragement. Like, even when I felt that I could not do it, you always would say, uh, just jump into it. Do it, do it. You can do it. So... Uh, that made me uh, more confident. How I, far did I the like... sheet help you? The tracking sheet help you? How far did the tracking sheet that we had put up help you to be consistent and do all the tasks I... regularly on a regular basis? Yes. Step by step, and I was doing it. One thing finished, I got more confidence. So I was going to the next mission like that. Just like... Uh, I was putting my brain in the freezer, like Siddharth says, and you all were leading me, and I reached the finishing point. Yeah. That's it. So if I can do, anyone can do. Um, okay. yeah. One more question that I have got is that, you know, we have special meetings to clarify certain points with some of yes. you may be having, probably on the course and things like that. How far did yes. it help you to crack the code? What I would say is that become... Because see, the thing is, you know, everybody is not on the same step. Right? Some people have okay. a, bit, a bit more and some are more technically aware. Some are more having more confidence. So to bring it on okay. par, I definitely had certain meetings, especially with some people. So how yes. much did it help you? Did it help you or not? Yes. Yeah. That helped us a lot because when we have that meeting, we have that sense of belonging that we are in the group. So when everybody, they all uh, speak about what they are going through, how what they achieved, we also get more motivation because of that. All of us were supporting each other. So uh, that has definitely helped because once we have the regular meetings, uh, we feel that we are on the track. Otherwise, we lose touch. So all this was possible because of your leadership and how you were taking us along the path definitely and my team members strong support <laughs> strong support because i know we had also had some sort of accountability it was a group accountability no doubt when you have a, a yes. tracking sheet and you put the data and you see that everybody is doing they have reached this level i also need to 
so that definitely yeah. puts you uh, in a mood where you are going to become consistent and do the job but uh, yeah. in addition to that in your case what i have found is that you are very very clear about asking and clearing your doubts some people may have yeah. doubts but they don't ask so in your case i notice i always notice that you ask sometimes you may think it is silly for other people but definitely you are so so involved that you were asking questions getting the clarifications and do it that is basically one quality or one factor we say you know ask 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 yeah. for help whenever needed and that is something which you did and you probably are a role model for others where if they have doubt and they keep it to themselves they are not going to reach anywhere but if you definitely ask the right person and get help you can crack the code that's something okay, we thank you ma'am thank uh, you ma which, yeah. which has a uh, okay yeah so the way you were implementing in your coaching i also can learn a lot how i can teach my students and how i can motivate them and even now i watch your recordings and all about all these uh, how to achieve your goal and things like that so because i have to go to the hall of fame and uh, one crore or 10 crore whatever it is so Everything i always is watch step. it it's yeah. it's always you know in steps we cannot jump to the top floor we will only we will only fall down we can aim yes. for it that should be there in our dream that we are going to reach there yes. but you have to yes. definitely go step by step if you don't go step yeah, by chunk step down. that's like, what you say chunking chunk down yeah. you try to attack everything then also the clarity will not be there anyway so you have to go yes. one by one and be overwhelmed is, that that is what you used to say yeah that is what we <laughs> achieve by because that was what i was telling everybody that you keep the pace of hackathon every week we do that task. don't jump to something you just do one by one by one and then definitely yes. you are able to uh, get yes. to the goal that you have in your yes. mind so yes. uh, besides all this i well, yeah. i also put want forward to... all these things in a cool manner not giving any attention to us so that was also a plus point you did not uh, what do you say uh, pressurize make so it was, very overwhelming yeah. or pressurized right right because yes, yes, yeah. when you are pressurized what happens is that you know whatever you are doing also will not be done yeah. another thing is yes, another yes. thing that is uh, you know uh, ownership is not taken because you need to own whatever you are going to do you must take ownership yes. and in your case what you mentioned passion that's a very important word because when you are passionate about doing something then you are going to achieve yeah. results and that is yeah. what is very very uh, nice in you and so some more things because i would like people to hear you and uh, get inspired what are the few success mantras that you can share some success as far as i am concerned ma'am i was always i always followed my passion like my father wanted me to do medicine and my, all my siblings are like doctors engineers and all that but i just would not listen to anyone even uh, when i was confused with my studies and all i had even stopped my studies in between and got married but i always uh, i was uh, interested in communication and I, i had the habit of reading always i used to read a lot and that kept me Uh, i can say first i got the job in a language lab just because of my reading because of my language without any qualification i was not even a graduate then i was qualified and i started as a faculty then i felt a void in me i thought i should qualify myself like i should do my graduation so along with my job i did my graduation post graduation and after that all these other diploma courses like ielts trainers trainers training tefl and things like that so i believe that we should be lifelong learners that's what you also project like age is not a matter it's only a number we can do we can be productive at any age so, so these are my mantras we should be lifelong learners the rates of successful leaders are this they are lifelong learners and they have yes, very yes. passionate they are very passionate yes. and one more thing yes, can yes. add to that which you also did is being persistent okay passionate and persistent because you did not stop you you went on doing each task wherever you were stuck yes. you were asking for help and that yes. shows why you became successful and why yeah, you became a freedom learning still i'm learning things uh, like i told you i did all my graduation post graduation everything 
while I was uh, raising my kids, my family was there. So in between, I was doing all these things. Then I got my job in the school, then I had to quit it. So I, again, I'm finding uh, a way for myself. So that's why I'm here. <laughs> yeah. So indeed, very great. Mumtaz, nice talking with you. And I'm sure people who hear you will get inspired. They will not wonder, you know, I'm not technologically competent. I will not be able to do it. I cannot do it. Hearing you, people will get, people will get inspired and they will be also inspired to do. Now, since you are starting with your coaching on communication skills, how okay. is it that people can contact you? What, have you set up any link or something where you, they can contact you or they have to contact you on your phone only? How is it that? I've set up, but I haven't launched my course. Uh, it is launched in Tag Mango, but I'll be launching it within three months because these three months I'll be traveling. So I am just preparing all the materials for my courses and all that. After that, I'll just share my link or a contact number so they can contact me. Oh. So I want to make it uh, more perfect and I want to uh, gift them as a complete bundle of communication, like touching all the aspects of communication. So, so for the benefit of the readers, let me tell you, Mumtaz has got an account on Facebook and Instagram. So they can, you can always yes. call, uh, check with her on Messenger, as well yes. as you can DM to her to get the details. If you want to get one coach by Mumtaz one-on-one -on, -one on public speaking, then definitely do go to Insta Instagram and Facebook and be in touch. Thank you Thank very you. much, Mumtaz, for being on the show. Thank you so I mean, much. Thank you. This great is a great honor you. for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. So I'm very uh, for be so fortunate to have got you as my facilitator. Yes. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so yeah. much. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Now I would like to know what you want me to cover next and please do like comment and share with your contacts and do subscribe to this channel see you in the next video bye bye